Hello everyone. Welcome to VLSI Academy. In this video, we will understand about evolution of communication technology, a brief history of how the world changed the way of communication over time. All right, let's get started. The first recorded evidence of use of communication could be dated back to Chinese smoke signal in the warfare. With the use of smoke signals, Chinese soldiers stationed at the Great Wall could warn their comrades 500 miles away of an impended enemy attack via the tower-to-tower -tower smoke signals. After that, centuries later, Greeks modified it to a meaningful form. A Greek historian converted the alphabets to the numbers which enabled the messages to be sent by smoke. For example, for sending help, they could send H for one puff of smoke, for E it could be two puffs of smoke, and so on. And then centuries later, Julius Caesar invented the cipher, which is a mapping of one alphabet to another. That is way they were able to code the messages into absurd statement and only one person who knew the methodology could figure it out. It was more secure and efficient way of communicating the secret information during the warfare. Now fast forward to 18th century when industrial revolution was blooming. At that time Samuel Fenley Breezemore, the person who lived from 1791 to 1872, he invented telegraph and he was an American inventor and painter who was also a co-developer of Morse code and helped to develop the commercial use of telegraphy. Few years later, Alexander Graham Bell made the first telephone call in his Boston lab summoning the assistant Mr. Watson. The Scottish-born Bell had a long life interest in the nature of sound. He was born into the family of speech instructors and his mother and his wife had a hearing impairment. While ostensibly working in 1875 on a device to send multiple telegraph signals over the wire, he heard a twang that led him to the investigation whether his electrical apparatus could be used to transmit the sound of a human voice. Two years later, in 1878, Edison invented gramophone which was most pioneering invention of that time. He designed the first prototype for gramophone and showed it to his machinist. He told him I was going to record talking and then have the machine talk back. Machinist thought it was very absurd. However, when experimented, the machine produced the recording perfectly. Few years later, world witnessed the most famous patent war between two successful inventors. Tesla, an inventor who migrated to USA, applied for his first patent in radio work in 1897 in America. He also built and demonstrated the radio control boat at Madison Square Garden. In 1900, USPTO granted Tesla a patent on Tesla coils, which was the key element in making a radio. And that same year later, when Marconi, an Italian inventor, filed the patent for radio telegraphy, he was denied the application on the grounds that his work relied more on Tesla coils. And for that, Tesla already had the patent. So Marconi reapplied for three years while he gained financial support from the company investors like Thomas Edison. Finally, in 1904, USPTO reversed its earlier decision and gave Italian the patent for the invention of radio. Marconi won the Nobel Prize in 1909, further fueling the rivalry with Tesla, who sued the Marconi company for patent infringement, but he had financial gain in US because of good investors and his father's influence in America, Italian always won. In an ironic twist of fate, Marconi's company sued the US government in 1943 for the patent infringement during World War I. But the case never made it to the court. Instead, to avoid the lawsuit altogether, US Supreme Court restored the Tesla patents and upheld him as the inventor of the radio. Nevertheless, many people still tend to think that Marconi is the father of radio, but actually the Tesla was inventor of it. Later in early 20th century, machine communication was evolving. With the development of radio, first form of communication was broadcast from local antenna in which direction of communication was only from sender to receiver. This was simplex communication. And later as technology evolved during warfare, computers were developed, communication evolved from simplex to half duplex in which machine could communicate in both directions but only one could talk at a time. And later full duplex to protocols were developed in which communication evolved and bidirectional communication was made possible. Post 1940s, the era of wireless communication was booming. Here is the timeline of key events in the history of wireless communication. In 1947, Douglas H. Ring and W. Y. Young of Bell Labs proposed a cell-based approach which led to the invention of cellular phones. In 1981, Nordic mobile telecommunication in Europe became the world's first automatic mobile telephone in the operation. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee built the prototype system which became the WWW at CERN in Geneva. 
and in 1991 GSM was put into operation with bandwidth up to 64 kbps which was the beginning of 2G and the beginning of all the internet that we are able to use in the phone as of today. Because of emergence of data services in phone, the internet which was limited to only the computers and the desktop was suddenly accessible through phone and as the time progressed, the need for more data advanced services emerged. Below is the timeline showing how the data services evolved in terms of speed and over generations of communication technology from 1G to 4G. And now connected cars and more advanced services are coming up in the future communication technologies. That's all for today. We hope this video gave you some idea on how communication evolved over time. Please do give your feedback in comment section. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.